Today we're looking at some of the best cases for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I already made one video with like 15 cases, so I consider this one a part two to that video. There's definitely a lot of great cases out there for this phone. I'll leave a link for everything covered in today's video down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. This case here is the Commuter Series by Otterbox. You've got a few different colors to choose from and the one shown here is blue. Really nice and soft silicone material here on the inside. And then a rougher texture, hard plastic shell on the back. Just barely flexes, pretty nice and rigid. Really nice and simple to put this case on. Doesn't really have much flex towards the bottom because you've got the hard plastic shell there. A little bit more towards the top where it's just the silicone by itself. Looks like it's got just enough protection there on the sides of the screen. Plenty on the top and bottom. Really nice power and volume buttons on this one. Plus it's got those lines on the side that just adds extra grip on both sides. Not gonna be the clickiest buttons out there. In fact, you don't really hear the buttons at all, but they both seem to work pretty good. And they stick out plenty, so you're gonna be able to locate them without looking. Now where you hold the phone down towards the bottom, to me the grip's not quite as good as that here at the top where the silicone is. Now you do have two spots here on the back where the silicone sticks through. I guess that does help a little bit. You've also got some decent protection up here around the cameras. Nice and large cutout there for the S Pen. Plus you've got a silicone flap that goes over the charging port. So pretty nice build quality overall and with decent protection in my opinion. As usual with OtterBox, the case itself is about 54 grams. Weighs in at 296 grams with the case installed. And of course this is going to work with small and large wireless chargers. Now this mouse case comes in several different colors or textures or styles there on the back. The one I have here is bamboo. This one also is gonna work with any MagSafe wireless charger or other MagSafe accessories. There's plenty of screen protection on the top and bottom. It's basically flush there on the sides where the curved screen is. I just feel like they could have at least put a little bit more on the sides. Probably some of the best power and volume buttons that I've tested so far. They stick out plenty and they're really nice and clicky. I don't think there's room for any improvement when it comes to the buttons on here. The TPU material here on the sides, to me it does feel a little bit slippery, but they put these little ridges here down towards the bottom. That definitely helps getting a better grip. I kind of wish they'd make this a little bit softer on the sides to where it feels more like a silicone versus TPU. It also has nice protection going around the cameras on the back. I feel like this is definitely one of the better looking phones. Sort of reminds me of the D-Brand grip case where you can just put any image texture here on the back. Pretty minimal branding there on the bottom. Really nice and large cutouts for the charging port and S Pen. It definitely feels like really nice quality with this case. Feels like it's got a pretty good magnet on here as well for the MagSafe accessories. Looks like it's at 48 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 286 grams with the case on. Now the Plasma Series case by UAG actually comes in a couple different colors. You've got ash, which is a dark gray, or this one here is ice, which is just more of a clear material here on the back. The thing about this case, it's super rigid. Doesn't really flex in any direction. On the back, it's got a harder plastic shell and then just a little bit softer there on the sides where the buttons are. The design of this definitely looks a little more rugged than your typical TPU case. Pretty simple to put this case on. It also appears to have just a tad bit of screen protection there on the sides. Probably the best part of this case is gonna be on the back where you can actually see the color of your phone it's got a nice design here on the back. Adds a little bit more texture. Really nice and clicky on the buttons and they stick out plenty. So I don't think you could improve too much on those. It also has all these little ridges on the sides, which really help with giving you extra grip when you're holding the phone. Probably some of the best protection for the cameras on the back. Nice and large cutouts for the charging port and the S Pen. Sort of makes it so you can only get the S Pen from the bottom versus the top. Still not bad though. 
54 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 292 grams with the case on. Unfortunately, it looks like it's only gonna work with smaller wireless chargers. I'm guessing because the camera bump here just kind of gets in the way. Not that big a deal, just something to keep in mind. Now this one here is the Zag Havana case. I believe you can get this one in a couple different colors. The one shown here is black. This is a pretty flexible TPU case. This one also has military grade drop protection. It has a pretty nice ridge here on the back. Pretty nice and simple to put the case on. The side lip protection might just be a hair above the screen. Pretty close though. Plenty of protection on the top and bottom. Has a really nice design to it in my opinion. You can see how far the buttons stick out on this one. Easily some of the best as far as buttons go. As far as being nice and clicky, they stick out plenty. Just really easy to use. It's got decent protection there around the cameras on the back. Very minimal branding as well. Apparently they want you to know this contains recycled material. Nice oversized cutout for the S Pen and the charging port. Fairly decent grip here as well. Could be a little bit softer in my opinion. Overall just a really nice design here. It looks like it's about 42 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 280 grams with the case installed. And of course, it's going to work with pretty much any size wireless charger. Now the Tough Armor case by Spigen comes in three different colors. You've got black, abyss green, and the one shown here is gunmetal. This one is a two-part hybrid case where it's got a softer TPU material on the inside, plastic shell there on the back. Fits on here nice and snug, basically no movement. Now this one's a really nice and snug fit. Might just be a hair above the curved edge here. A little bit better protection on the top and bottom. To me, the best part of this case is definitely the power button. It's got these little ridges on there. Makes it super easy to use. Nice and clicky as well. The clickiness on the volume buttons are pretty good as well. I feel like they could make them stick out just a tad bit more. Overall, not bad though. Decent protection there on the back for the cameras. It does look a little funny to me having that opening where the flash is because it's really the only part where you can tell what color the phone is. Then you've also got a built-in kickstand here on the back. It gives you a couple different angles to choose from. On the hard plastic shell, it does have a little bit of a soft touch material. Just a little bit of branding there on the side. You can't really get much better as far as the cutouts go for the charging port and the S Pen. The case itself weighs about 56 grams. Weighs in at 296 grams with the case on. And of course, it's going to work with wireless charging, even though this case is a little bit thicker. So overall, really nice job here by Spigen. I wanted to throw this case in here by Otofly just because I like the style of this one. Comes in several different colors. Midnight blue, frosted black, purple, and the one shown here is gray. You can see on the back it's got a translucent material on the back where you can sort of see through it. Also has a metal frame that goes around the cameras on the back. Now on the back and on the sides, it has a really nice soft touch material. Also a pretty rigid case, doesn't really flex at all. Feels like it's pretty flush on the sides here. Nice protection on the top and bottom though. Really nice and clicky buttons on this one. And they stick out plenty so they're easy to locate. Now the grip on the sides here, kind of hard to explain, but it's definitely different than some of the other TPU cases. Mainly because it's got that soft touch material on it. Sort of looks interesting here on the back how it makes this green a little bit darker. And then around the cameras you can see that metal frame going around there. Overall just a really nice clean design. Hardly any branding other than there around the camera. Opening could be a little larger on the S Pen, but really nice and large for the charging port. We've also got a spot there on the side for a lanyard. Only 36 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 276 grams with the case on. Because it's such a thin case, you'll be able to use this with just about any wireless charger.
Now, if you're looking for something a lot more rugged, you should definitely check out this armor box case by Iblason. It comes in four different colors, blue, red, black. The one shown here is more of a military green. You've also got the option of a built-in screen protector or one without. Also comes with a pretty industrial looking belt clip as well. Now there's also the Unicorn Beetle by Subcase, and it's actually really similar, just a few small differences, sort of personal preference on which one looks better. I kind of like the design on the armor box, but they both actually look really good in this green color. It actually seems to work pretty good, even with the screen protector on. Fairly simple to put this case on once you get it started there on the side where the buttons are. You should be able to work your way around the edges You'll probably have to add your fingerprint again once you put the screen protector on, but it actually seems to work pretty good once you do that. And the nice thing is the buttons on here are nice and clicky. You really don't have to push them that hard to get them to work. Plus you've got some nice ridges here along the sides that just gives you a little extra grip when holding it. The buttons stick out just far enough so you can tell where they're located without looking. The sides are a little bit softer TPU material. They could have went even one step further and made the sides just a little softer. Overall, pretty good grip though. Also has pretty good screen protection, especially on the top and bottom. Now with the built-in screen protector, it does have these air bubbles on there. But the nice thing is you've got the version without the screen protector where you could put your own screen protector on and then just use the frame. You also have a flap down here on the charging port. Pretty large cutout for the S Pen as well. And then don't forget you have a built-in kickstand here on the back. Pretty simple to open and close. Then you can use that standing up or laying down in landscape mode. You've also got some good protection around the cameras on the back, so you shouldn't have to worry about those getting scratched up. 96 grams for the case itself. Obviously, this is going to be one of the heavier cases out there. Weighs in at 332 grams with the case installed. And surprisingly, this does work with wireless charging as well, even though it's pretty thick there on the back. So we're taking a quick look at the Magnetic Guardian case by Torres. This one's a military grade, drop tested, semi-clear on the back there. Sort of a frosted look. And as you can see on the back, this one has MagSafe wireless charging. Pretty nice design on this one overall. Feels nice and rigid where it barely flexes. Also has a softer TPU material around the edges. Really simple to put this case on. It's not so tight that it's hard to get back off either. Also comes with a couple different colors here as far as the power and volume buttons go. Pretty easy to put the new colored buttons in there as well. And if you want, you can just do the power button or the volume buttons in color. It doesn't have to be both buttons. The buttons could stick out just a little bit more in my opinion. Not bad though. They actually work really good. Super easy to use. You barely have to push them and they got some nice clickiness to them. I kind of wish they would have a little bit extra lip there on the sides where the screen is curved, but you do have quite a bit there on the top and bottom to protect the phone if you put it face down. To me, the design in here looks really nice. You can see the color of your phone here on the back besides just where the camera is. Doesn't appear to rock back and forth too much. Also seems to have some pretty good grip on this case. Nice and large cutouts for the charging port and the S Pen, so that's pretty easy to get in and out. Now with the case installed on the phone, 276 grams. The case by itself, 36 grams. And then of course, it's gonna work with the official MagSafe wireless charger from Apple. Nice thing is the magnet seems to be pretty strong on here as well. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.